Hello guys and welcome to your second Java tutorial. As you can see I've opened the Eclipse folder and all you're really going to want to do is double click on this Eclipse icon. Uh, yeah, wherever you've put it. Uh, I just kept mine where I put it in the last tutorial. Uh, it's going to ask you for your workspace. Let's do this for the win. You know it guys. Let's do this. Hit OK. Should load up your workbench and everything you have. All your tools. All, all your tools that you need for development. So yeah, it's loading, you know, casually. And once it has loaded, you guys should see that it's preserved the hierarchy we've had we made last time. Here's our YouTube project, expand that source file folder, and uh, you should see that it's automatically created a default package for us. And uh, I'm not gonna say much, but all packages are are ways of grouping code or a ways of grouping classes. Uh, we'll go over packages later. Please just don't bother yourselves that much with it guys. Let's get on to this code All right guys what, what you see here is a Class now everything in Java is divided into these classes uh, How do you actually declare a class is by simply putting the class the word class? this right with the thing following after it is the the class's name and <clears throat> This keyword right here makes the class public, or it makes it accessible by everything in our program. Uh, yeah, and also it should be noted that the name you use for your class in your code should be the same name you use for your file up here. So main class .java, main class, class, main class. So yeah, that's, that's very important to note. And Java is case sensitive, guys. So if you type apples like this, and apples like this, uh, they're two completely different things for Java, because Java, the the compiler's like, well, look, wait, this this a is lowercase, this a is uppercase. These two are completely different things. Yeah, so make sure make sure when you make sure that you that you pay attention to that, because uh, Java is incredibly case sensitive. All right, yeah. So and also I should mention that the code belonging to this class, every class is its own section of code. Uh, it goes in these. Uh, curly braces this this starting curly brace and this ending curly brace the stuff between it the stuff between it is called the the class's code block uh, and that belongs to it uh, all right guys so let's get started here uh, type this following line of code that I'm typing right now I will explain it as soon as I am finished typing it uh, all right there we go all right yeah so well, what's what's this mess here? You know, what's what's this what's this code that we got here? Well, guys, everything in Java is, as I told you, divided into classes. But there are also these things called methods. Now, methods need to perform certain actions. Every method does some, a certain thing or performs a certain action. Now, there's really only one one method with this name, with the name of main. There's only one of them. And it is the most important me method in your program. And what it does is technically it starts your program. When your compiler starts, it's your your compiler's thinking, all right, all right, oh my god, where where is this main method? Oh look, the main method. I should probably execute the code that it has for me, and it and it executes the code in between uh, the curly braces of the main method. All right, yeah. So how is a method declared? As we as we see here, a method is sim. It's it. It needs to have these round parentheses here. So our main method has these round parentheses. And it also needs to uh, practically have this, this, this keyword public. So that means it's accessible by everything in the program. This public keyword could be replaced by private, which we're going to go over later, meaning it's not going to be accessible by everything in the program. But we're going to go over that slightly later, guys. Right now, just know that public makes it accessible by everything in the program. I think I've repeated myself enough times there. So this static keyword here, uh, it's it's another concept, but usually methods operate on objects. Now static means that this method doesn't operate on objects. Now that that's probably sounds confusing and ludicrous to you right now. So just put it at the back of your mind. We're really going to go over this later. All right. Yeah. So this keyword void here. Well, methods sometimes they return a value. So say we can have a method named add, and it takes two numbers, it adds them, and it returns a value, right? Well, sometimes methods 
don't return anything. They don't return any values, and that's when we put this void keyword right here. Void. That means that the method that means that the method doesn't return anything. And obviously, after all these keywords, we have the name of the method, which in this case is main. They can, I repeat, there can only be one main method in your program, and that's where your compiler starts. Now, everything that goes between the round parentheses of the method method are called the method's parameters. Now, these parameters, string, blah, args, that, they, these things are called command line arguments. Now, command line arguments are something we'll go over much, much later, like qu quite some time. We'll pass before we can actually reach that material. But, so, honestly, just know that a method can have parameters that do something. Anyways, quickly, you guys should should probably have a solid understanding of this by now, right? Public, accessible by everything in the program. Static, we'll go over that later. Void, doesn't return anything. Main, name of the program. This, this stuff is the parameters. And obviously, the code is in between these curly braces. Alright? And, guys, by the way, you can only have methods inside classes. Just another good thing to note. Anyways, let's get started. You guys probably want to see some action, right? All right. All right, so, all right, type this following line of code. System.out.println, parentheses, uh, and I'm going to go with the classic hello world. There we go. I think that has enough personality in it, so... Let's kind of decompile this for now. Well, you see these round parentheses here. That means it's it's a method. And this this thing is a method. Print ln is a method right here. And it obviously does something, but what does it do? What exactly what what's going on here? So, what we're really doing, we're how you define text in Java is by putting it in quotes. These these starting quote and in quote, this is the text inside it. Now, obviously, if this is in between the parentheses, as you can see, this, this we know that this is an argument, it's in between the parentheses. This is an argument, it's between the parentheses. That means this method, it does something, it operates on this, this parameter. Correct? Now, what exactly does it do? Well, it prints a line of text. Well, it's kind of self-explanatory by the name, but we'll see it later in action. And now, what... Where does it print this line of text to? How does it print to? What? I'm still confused. So, anyways, how you break this down is using this right here, this previous line of code here. It says system. Well, system is a collection of objects and methods. Uh, one of these objects is out. And what exactly is out? Out is the console window. As you can see down here, this is the console window. The console window, what it practically does, it receives messages you send to it from uh, your program, and it prints them out. That's really all the console window is here for. Now, out is practically the console window. That's the object that represents it. Now, what we're saying here, in, si in, in system, which is a collection of, class, of uh, objects, we use this dot to say, well, I want to get something from this system collection. So, dot out, that means we're, we, we're using the out from the system collection. And this out uh, object has a lot of methods. So we're using this dot thing, and we're saying, well, we're, we, we want to use this println method from this out object. And this println method has takes a string as an argument, and it prints it out to this out object. And this, all right, yeah, that might have seemed kind of crazy confusing, but anyways, just please, guys, try to decompile that in your in your in your brains. Try to get that down. If this seems confusing at all, we're, we're uh, going to go over it late in later tutorials. But anyways, just know that this line of code here, it it's supposed to this this stuff here. It prints uh, text that you put in parentheses. So anyways, let's see this stuff in action. Click this little play button here. It's going to ask you to save and launch classes. Yeah, select the main class. Click, hit OK. And in your console window, you should see Hello World. And this this little terminated thing here that which means the program ended successfully now if you guys don't see your console windows go to window show view and console which will make this console window pop up here and you should see everything uh, go by fine uh, as in everything ended successfully so guys to recap once again let me see how much time I've left at first it not much time left to recap once again we created a class it's public accessible by everything in the program its name is main class 
This is the stuff in between the curly braces belongs to the class. Here I have a main method, accessible by everything in the program. Uh, static keyword, will go over that later. Void, doesn't return anything. Uh, some arguments that we're going to go over later. Uh, curly braces, once again, uh, that's the stuff that belongs to this main method. System.out, system is a collection of objects. Out is an object from system. Println is a method from out. Println simply takes some text and prints it to out. Prints it to the object it belongs to. So I might really crazy run through guys there. Really crazy. If you don't if you don't understand this, please just continue on to my other tutorials. I'll I'll get another one out as soon as I can. Uh, you'll trust me. All this stuff is gonna really flow coincide smoothly in your in your in your brains as as soon as you know. I'm gonna kind of explain this further, kind of get it down. So thanks for watching, guys. Anyways, comment, rate, and subscribe. Uh, I will be trying to get more of these out. As soon as I can, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and yeah, thanks.